Welcome to another one of my math videos. My name is Chris, and here in this problem we have a 3-4-5 triangle. And inside of this triangle we have a square with a side length of s. And our goal for this problem is to find the dimensions of the square. We need to find the length of s. So once again we have a 3-4-5 triangle. We have a square inside this triangle with a length of s. And using this information I have given you, find the length of side S. Pause the video if you need to, work on the problem as long as you need, and I will show you the solution in five seconds. So the first thing we want to do is label this triangle as much as possible. Notice how we have two smaller triangles within the 3-4-5 triangle. One of these smaller triangles is above the square, and one of these triangles is to the right side of the square. So let's label these smaller triangles. Now notice how both of these triangles have a 90 degree angle. So I'll label one of the 90 degree angles with an uppercase A, and I'll label the other 90 degree angle with a lowercase A. Now I'm going to repeat this process going counterclockwise. So the next angle I'm going to label in one of the triangles with an uppercase B, and in the other triangle I'm going to label the next angle with a lowercase B. Now notice how sides AB in both triangles are parallel to each other. Because these lines are parallel to each other, we know that angle B in both triangles must be equal because they are corresponding angles. And if we keep going counterclockwise, let's label the last angle with the letter C. In the top triangle, we'll label it with a capital C, and in the other triangle, we will label the angle with a lowercase c. And just like angle B, angle C in both triangles are going to be equal to each other. Now, this is because sides AC in both triangles are parallel, uh, which makes angle C in both triangles corresponding angles which once again makes them equal. So now notice how all three angles in both triangles are equal to each other. Uh, because of this, we know that the triangles are going to be similar. And because these triangles are similar, we know that the corresponding sides are going to be proportional to each other. So in other words, side AB over AC in one triangle is going to be equal to side AB over AC of the other triangle. And now we can substitute all of our information into this equation and we can solve for S. So what is the length of capital AB? Well you can tell from the picture that this length is just the side of the square. So we can substitute an S into capital AB. So now let's find the length of AC in capital letters. Uh, this is going to be equal to the side of the 3-4-5 triangle minus the side of the square. So we can replace capital AC with 3 minus S. So now let's do the same exact thing for the other side of the equation. If we use the same technique, we know that side AB in lowercase letters is going to be equal to 4 minus S, and we know that side AC in lowercase letters is just going to be equal to S. And now we have an equation in which we can solve for S. So the first thing we can do is cross multiply. And if we cross multiply, we get S squared is equal to 4 minus S multiplied times 3 minus S. And if we multiply the parentheses on the right side of the equation, we get S squared minus 7s plus 12. So now we have s squared is equal to s squared minus 7s plus 12, and we can get rid of the s squared terms by subtracting s squared from both sides of the equation. And now we are left with negative 7s plus 12 is equal to 0, and this is a simple equation that most of you can probably do in your head, we can solve for s, and we know that s is equal to 12 over 7. So I hope you had fun solving this math problem. I have more videos just like this one, so check them out if you want. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. Did you love it or hate it, or did you think it was too easy or too hard? Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.